Welcome to episode six seventy five. Chase Coleman, Blue Blood, and youngest and most successful Tiger Cub. This is an outline of episode six seventy five. There are three reasons we study Chase Coleman. First, at age forty four, he's the youngest and most successful hedge fund manager in the world. Second, he is blue blood lineage. Third, he is one of the most secretive billionaire. Chase Coleman never grants interview or appears on TV, so I can only get a glimpse from him. You know, he is the youngest person, the youngest Wall Street person on the richest 500 list for Bloomberg billionaires. He was he started his own fund at 25 years old, splitting off from Julian Robertson. Obviously, this year alone, in the first five months, his fund has risen 25 percent. His investors, he believe, has the panic button very far away from the keyboard, and so we know that he has a stomach as well as. Well, he an makes big first the blue blood part. Chase Coleman's lineage traces back to 17th century. Dutch Governor Stuyvesan. He grew up in Glen Head, Long Island, about 25 miles from Manhattan. Here's a picture of Chase Coleman as a kid. Study at Williams College, double major in economics and Spanish. He was the captain of the lacrosse team. At age 22, he started his first job as an analyst for Tiger Fund. Here is Julian Robinson, the legendary founder of Tiger Fund. Julian Robinson knows him very well because, as a kid, he was the friend of his son. In 2000, the Tiger Fund blew up. Julian Robinson closed the Tiger Fund. Chase Coleman has worked there for three years, but Julian Robinson invested twenty-five million dollars to help Chase Coleman to start his own hedge fund, Tiger Tech. Chase Coleman was twenty-five years old, so Julian Robinson is the original Tiger, and Chase Coleman, at age twenty-five, is one of his Tiger Cubs. Chase Coleman would become the most successful of all the Tiger Cubs, and this has something to do with bifurcation. Chase Coleman renamed his fund from Tiger Tech to Tiger Global. More importantly, he started a new division of private equity. He would evenly divide his fund into private equity and publicly traded divisions. This is a chart of the return of Tiger Global Management Private Investment Funds. Now we are in January 2020. Chase Coleman is 44 years old, and he is worth 4.5 billion dollars, making him the youngest and richest of the Tiger Cubs. About 38 of them. What have I learned today? Two things. First, his return of 25 percent annually over 19 years is lower than the 31 percent annual return of his mentor and sponsor, Julia Robertson. Second, at age 44, he's already worth 4.5 billion dollars, while Robertson, the original Tiger, did not start Tiger Fund until the age of 48. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Chase Coleman: Eight Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.